peace, peace and love, peace and love, and soul, everyone. This is Marcus Q uh, from Could You Be Love Foundation. Um, it's raining right now. I just wanted to uh, make a video about something that's been on my heart roughly for the last couple of days. It's been strong this morning, so uh, maybe because of the moon. I'm not exactly sure, but I have to give it out to the universe. And it's all, it's all respect. You know, I'm gonna listen to my energy and my soul. So let's go in. So first, I do want to say uh, I appreciate and I love everyone that actually uh, take a time out to view my video. Uh, I am very uh, humble, and uh, my spirit actually just want to continue to give um, great energy to everyone that views me and take the time out to watch me. You know, I, I appreciate it. If you ever have any questions or any comments, um, just tell me. You know, if I'm doing great, doing horrible. If you want to ask me anything, if you want to connect, just hit me on the inbox, and we can uh, we can go from there. So uh, today's video is actually going to be about love and what I what I believe is what loves me it means to me um, what ha what love has done to me in the past and what I plan on and imagine myself in the future and I have a poem that's written by me um, that I want to express so first I am actually going to read the definition of love and on definition.com of what love means to society today so the first definition is it says a profound tender passion and affection for another person. So that would love, the first definition that would love me. Okay, so I'm going to read my poem. So the poem that I've uh, written is called Risky Business. Okay, so here it goes. Hope you enjoy it. Sometimes we question ourselves. Should I give this person my heart? Do they really love me? Other times we let the negative thoughts take over. Maybe if I give her my heart, all she's going to do is step on it and rip it apart. I can understand why the generation I live in today doesn't talk about love. It's risky business. On the other hand, I think to myself and imagine how it feels to be in real love. You know that warm feeling you get when your mama tells you, I love you? That real love. The song Satisfy My Soul by Bar Marley, on days that I am feeling hopeless, I close my eyes, turn the song on, and feel that real love. Marcus Q. So this is a video, I mean, I'm sorry, this is a poem that I, I written uh, maybe like eight or nine months ago. And I'm going to go ahead and start from here. Um, basically, at this time when I written the poem, I was in a time in my life where I was battling with self-love and who I am at the same time. And being in a relationship that I take the full blame for, you know, that it did go south with that relationship. But not understanding my, my ability and my self-love. So by saying that, you know, I had to first realize that you know this relationship is not something that is benefiting me at this time you know what I mean it's not to say that me and that person might not meet later on down the road and rekindle that flame who knows only God knows but that saying is at that time it wasn't healthy for me to be in love with another person one because first I wasn't loving myself and it was showing by my actions uh, my thought patterns the things that I was doing to myself to my body uh, my, you know, of course my thinking um, so after realizing that, you know, because I, I realized that you can't or we can't fix anything unless we understand that it is broken. So for me, I had to first realize that, okay, my heart right now is broken. And I feel like the society that we live in as one as black men, because I can only speak for the people that, you know, in my same, I guess, frequency, even though I speak for all people or, you know, but I'm saying this is. We have always necessarily been told that it's not cool or it's not manly to express yourself. You know what I mean? Or and that and to a certain extent I agree, but I disagree to say that a lot of people we, we can't fix problems because we don't know what the problem is. And for me, I had to really start telling myself, damn, like I'm fucked up, you know what I mean, excuse my language, if cheers is watching this watching this, but that I am I'm living in a in a time right now when my heart is being broken. So I need to separate myself from basically everybody just to heal and love myself completely. You know what I mean? So with that, you know, how how loving myself or how being in a relationship with a person, how it changed me negatively and positively. So I'm going to start with the negative. So first, how it changed me negatively is, um, or the negative that changed was first I had to realize that, you know, this person I'm in love with, I do love them very much that I feel like I do love them, but I am not loving myself. You know what I mean? It's, it's being very negative um, every day, you know what I'm saying? Like just waking up and not realizing or realizing what's going on within myself. You know what I mean? I have to realize that that person really doesn't even matter in the schemes of my love for other people and love for myself. So once I started to realize that, that negative turned into a positive. 
You know what I mean? Um, that's when I actually started to ask myself these questions. Um, do I love being around this person? Do I love going to work every day? Uh, do I love um, the food that I'm actually eating? Is it really good for me? I'm just eating to feel a happiness or void. You know what I mean? And once I started to ask these questions, of course, anything that you seek, you're gonna eventually get. You're gonna those answers, those questions to those answers. I'm sorry, the answers to your questions are gonna be answered. So it those answers started to to come to me um, slowly but for surely. And then once I started to actually accept those answers, more answers start to come to me almost every day. Even the same day I get four or five different answers to my questions. Just by God, you know, or you know, whatever you believe in, it's gonna send you people, situations, um, thing you may look at it's things that's gonna send to you, you know, you might ask, you might pray for certain things, but it might not be it might not be sent to you uh, physically, but it might come to you in a in a sign of a person. You know what I'm saying? For me, it was sent to it as a person. You know, I had a beautiful soul sent sent to me, and me and her had conversations that she just explained to me that you know this is how I love myself, and this is what I do to show that I love myself. And then just by me watching her, connecting with her in different ways. Um, I learned a lot from her, you know what I mean? And I appreciate her and I think about her a lot. We might not talk now just because, you know, different journeys or whatever, but it's cool, you know, I, I, learned, I learned from different people. I, that's just something that I've always been, has been a visual learner. So, and then, you know, once I started doing that, and I always understand, and I'm going to say this, this weekend we had a Divine Moment event, and um, my homeboy Drake, uh, which is a personal trainer, you know, uh, if you ever need anybody, he's very great at that as well. But he made a statement and it stuck with me and it's gonna stick with me for a while. And I kinda already understand it, but the way he said it made sense. But what he said was, how can you ever know what positivity feel like if you never go through negativity? You know what I mean? So for my life, that I've been through some fucked up time. I've been through some situations that it was very negative, you know what I mean? But I'm honestly so grateful and so uh, amazed that I was able to get through them. And you know what I'm saying? learn through those situations and those problems and those issues and then grow so now i'm able to being in this journey that i'm on right now and loving myself completely i'm able to feel like that positive energy and love it completely you know what i mean and i and i i, I think i think drake uh mentally in my soul that he actually said that just because that's the reason why we even have divine moments because it might not be something i say or chris or whatever but it's somebody in that room you might connect with on a different level and by it might be you you might be dealing with some dealing with something but just by their vibrations and how it come out of their energy you might take that and run with it and it might help you go through stuff you know what i mean this weekend even last weekend i've taken something from that um divine moment and I've learned and I'm growing and I'm applying it to my everyday life. So I do want to uh, end on this is once you, or uh, once I started to really appreciate loving who I am, you know what I mean? Not cutting my hair, letting my hair grow, you know what I'm saying? Just, just everyday love, you know what I'm saying? Like just appreciate everything about me that I'm able to appreciate and love everything about someone else, you know what I mean? Because I can see myself in them. You feel me? So the more I love myself, the more I'm gonna love the world. The more I'm gonna love this beautiful flower. The more that if an ant crawls me, I'm not gonna kill it. I'm just gonna remove it from my body and put it back in his place. You know what I mean? Just that's just how I see life now. It's that if I love myself completely, then I can love everything outside of me. You know what I mean? So this is just my definition of love. And you know, last that when you say love is basically understanding. If you can love completely that basically to me it means that you can understand it completely and being in this season right now with Libra if you understand astrology this is the month or the time of year for love this is where the phrase cuffing season come from it's just sub subconsciously you might not know but this is actually where it comes from because this is the month or the the moon of Venus and Venus controls relationships so and I am the, the man of scale so this is something that's about passionate I'm very passionate with relationship and love so um, now I just feel like I'm rambling, but you know if you have any questions just inbox me contact me This is Marcus Q from could you be love foundation uh, peace and love and soul. I love everyone and I appreciate everyone peace